हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू न्यू एकेडमिक ईयर ओके ड्यू टू कोविड 19 वी कैन कंटिन्यू आवर रेगुलर क्लासेस इन स्कूल बट वी कंटिन्यू आवर रेगुलर क्लासेस थ्रू ऑनलाइन मीडियम आई विल टेक योर साइंस क्लास एंड टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर 1 चैप्टर 1 इज मैटर इन आवर सराउंडिंग सो मैटर फर्स्ट टर्म इज मैटर व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय मैटर ओके Everything in this universe is made up of material. Everything in this universe, just like me, you, this blackboard, this pen, light, table, chair, everything in this universe made up material. This material, scientists name as matter. So I have given, I have written here the definition of matter. Matter is the substance which has mass and occupies space. Okay, suppose just like a blackboard. This is a matter. Okay, we have mass. This blackboard has mass. Okay, maybe two kg, maybe three kg, and occupies space. This full space occupied this blackboard. Matter is made up of tiny particles. Okay, all matters are made up of tiny particles. Suppose this chalk. This is a matter. This is also made by small, small chalk particles. So matter is made up of tiny particles. Example of matters are notebook, pen, sir, yeah, anything you can write, cloth, almira, cupboard, anything you can write. Okay. Next, very important characteristic of particles. Here I have written matter is made up of tiny particles. So what is a, so particles? What are the characteristic of particles? There are many. There are main three characteristic of the particles. First one. They are they means particles. They are continuously moving. Particles are continuously moving. Second property, second characteristic is they having space between them. That is particle having space between them. And third one, part they attract each other. Particles attract each other. That means matter which are made up of particles. These are all the three properties of the particle. We will discuss one by one. First one, they are continuously moving. Okay, so to uh, to explain this, okay, I will show you one activity. Okay, first, first property: particles of matters are continuously moving. Okay, particles are uh, of matter are continuously moving. To explain this. I am showing here one activity. For take one glass, some uh, in a glass, take some water. Okay, then add some or drop color into it. Okay, I am dropping a color. Okay, okay. What you have noticed? What do you know? Now color spread all over the water, right? Okay. Now look at this. After one or two minutes, the full water will be colored. Now, I think yes, full water now is colored. So what is the from this activity? What what you are getting conclusion? That means that means the particles at first water molecules only there. Okay. When I have added color into it, that means the color particles also started moving inside the water. Okay, that means this particle possesses kinetic energy. This particle possesses kinetic energy. Here, yeah. particle possesses kinetic energy. Okay, and as the temperature increases, particle moves faster because kinetic energy increases. Okay, here I draw. Uh, What uh, color and the color needs to take suppose taken thirty second, but if we uh, uh, if we increase the temperature of the water, then the time will be less because that time kinetic energy will be increased. Okay, just like if you take two glass water. Okay. Same amount of water. Okay. Here also you are taking hundred ml, hundred ml water, and here also hundred ml water. Okay. 
but this one you take in hot water okay and this one take in cold water okay now add here one spoon sugar into it okay plus one spoon one tablespoon sugar and here also add one tablespoon sugar okay but now move it now keep it some time for some time okay after 2 minute or 3 minute you will see the where in a, this glass where you have taken the hot water sugar is easily mixed but in cold water sugar is mixing full sugar not mix that means this water is hot that means the temperature temperature is more if the temperature increases then kinetic energy also increases if kinetic energy increases then the particle moves faster okay so particles of matter are continuously moving that means what from this conclusion we are getting particles of matter are continuously moving that's why the now the water color change into red color okay next now second property Now the second property. Second property is particles of matter having space between them. Okay, though the particle in matter having space between them, just in glass. Okay, water is there. So water particles are there. Between water particles, space is there. Okay, so we we'll saw there what activity. Okay, now check. This this is the level of water. Okay. This is the level of water, blue color. Now I have added this water here, one teaspoon salt. Okay. Now I am mixing the salt. Some some lump are there, no problem. Okay, now check the water level. Okay, though I have added one teaspoon salt into the water, but the water level is not increased. Same water level. How it is possible? Okay, if I added something, then what? That means what? Where this salt particle go? That means that means what? In water. That means first time when water particle when I have taken water between the water particles space are there space are there when when I have added salt into it okay this salt particle the salt particles are going between this space between the space of the water particle. So particles of metals having space between them. That's why the height of the water is not increasing when you have added two one tablespoon or two two tablespoon salt into it. Okay, understood second properties. Okay, now third properties. Next third property is particles of matter attract each other. Okay, the particles of matter attract each other. Okay, this is chalk. Okay, that means chalk particle is there. Okay, I am trying to break it by my hand. Okay, but what? I can't break it. But if I break through the hammer, then maybe it can be broken. Okay, this is steel spoon. Okay. This is still. If you try uh, by uh, try uh, by hammering or uh, by trying any hard, that it, it will not break. Why? Because 
because the spoon is made by steel okay but between the particles force of attraction attraction between the particles is more that's why they are not we are not able to separating the particles between them so particles of matter attract each other okay suppose just like you will take one iron nail okay iron nail made by iron okay if you want to hammer into it then iron nail will not be broken down why because the particles between particles which are staying in iron nail between the two particles attraction are more due to this attraction we can't separate the separate the iron particle that's why it is not breaking okay now next 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 is ready for the states of matter okay in matter how many states are there in matter there are three states okay solid liquid and gas just to take the example of water water is in liquid form okay so water is a matter is in liquid form if you take ice then ice is in solid form and if you take steam that is in gaseous form okay now the very important properties of solid liquid and gas if you write the properties separately then we can differentiate also okay first property of solid is in term now only i told you ki if you uh, want to break the one iron nail by hammer then you can't break it okay that means the inter molecular force that means force between the particles is more than solid so first point is what have strong inter molecular force so first point is have here i am look at the book here first point solid have strong inter molecular force okay a liquid weak inter molecular force look at in liquid particle the inter molecular force is very weak and gaseous very weak okay liquid medium and gaseous very weak now the second point very less inter molecular space though the space between the solid particle is less if space less that's why molecular force is more okay and liquid large space okay liquid large space and gaseous very large space here i am showing here look at the blackboard okay very in solid particle the just like particles between the particle they are staying that side okay so the space between the particle is very less what i know space space very space very less the space very less then force more then force more in water particle okay the space between the liquid particle okay they are more they are more the compared to solid but less than gaseous in gaseous particle the space between the particle maximum okay so here space maximum if space maximum then force less and here liquid uh, for liquid space medium then also force also medium now next point have high density okay have high density density that will mass per unit volume solid has high density liquid is low density and gaseous is very low density solid cannot be compressed okay solid cannot be compressed just like this spoon spoon is, okay it is made by steel so it is solid if you want to compress okay compress it is not compressing so solid liquid can be compressed liquid can be compressed and gases can be highly compressed okay so these are the properties if you learn the properties separately okay these are the properties of solid these are the properties of liquid and these are the properties of gas their properties also will be over and difference also will be over very important that one states of matter okay students today only this activity you read this activity from your book and i will give you the notes that notes you will write and so you can learn the notes okay students today i have to discuss